Hello and welcome back to Histology with Saleh. This is the fourth video in the series. And in this video, we will talk about electron microscopy, which is a more sophisticated and more precise technique of microscopy in contrast to the light microscopy technique discussed in the previous video. To do the technique of electron microscopy, we need to have our hand on an electron microscope. We have two types of electron microscopes, the TEM and SEM. TEM stands for Transmission Electron Microscope and SEM stands for Scanning Electron Microscope. Both SEM and TEM are based on the interaction of the tissue under study with beams of electron. Beams of electron in general have much shorter wavelength compared to the wavelength of the light, whether it is visible or it is non-visible. Therefore, the image produced by it is 1000 times better and clearer in resolution. Transmission Electron Microscopy This transmission electron microscopy is one of the two methods of electron microscopy using one of the two types of electron microscope. This is an imaging technique, an imaging system through which it permits the resolutions around 3 nanometers to be seen. Therefore, the isolated particles in the tissues or in the substances or in the specimen can be magnified over 400,000 times. To prepare the tissue for transmission electron microscopy, heavy metal compounds is added to the fixatives in the fixation stage of preparation or added to the dehydrating solutions in the dehydration stage. Therefore, through that, the contrast of the image goes up and increases in a very high percentage. We have a cryofracture and freeze etching as the two very useful techniques in preparation of the tissue for the transmission electron microscopy. Through these techniques, we don't use any fixatives and we don't use or we don't do the embedding stage of the preparation. Therefore, it is very useful in the membrane structures to be prepared and studied. Scanning electron microscopy using a scanning electron microscope. Using uh, scanning electron microscopy allows us to have a high resolution view of the surfaces of whatever we want to see whether it is cells whether it's going to be tissues or it's going to be organs we always see the surfaces with a very high resolution with transmission electron microscopy the light transfers transmits and passes through the tissue and then after it has passed it is taken by the image detector but with scanning electron microscopy, the light hits the surface, which is dried and which is sprayed with uh, heavy metal coats, usually with gold sprays. So this heavy metal takes the light, it reflects it back, doesn't let it to be taken, uh, to be transmitted. Then this uh, reflected light 
is uh, taken by the detector then it's translated into 3d form and can be viewed very easily and with a high resolution this is an image that shows both electron microscopy and uh, both types of the electron microscopes the transmission type and the scanning type uh, left one is transmission right one is scanning you can see the difference in the left one the light passes through the tissue and then detected and taken by the image detector while in the right one in the scanning electron it's the reflection that happens and then the detector takes it thank you very much this is the end of the fourth video in this series please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon stay tuned next we will talk about many other matters in one single video and through that we will end the first chapter of john Cuera's basic histology